Woke up this morning and did day five of the Blog Lottie's ab challenge. Day four and day five were a little tamer in comparison to days one, two, and three. Well, particularly days two and three. Um, and I also did a few other little, little warm up type exercises and I've just got my uh, Four Sigmatic uh, Adaptogen Blend here in uh, Bustello. It's quite good. Gingery Kick. As far as my skincare this morning, I, um, for those of you guys who are new, I am wearing Ulta MD UV Sport as my sunscreen. I put on a good layer of it in the morning and then I reapply it a minimum of three times a day uh, to my entire face, all surfaces. If I'm going, going around in the car running errands, I apply it every two hours. Um, so yeah, that's important. That is probably, the most important aspect of pursuit of anti-aging. Anything else you do is completely futile if you are not militant about sun protection. So that's what I wear on my face and I also use some tinted sunscreens on top in the morning um, that I really love, albeit I don't necessarily reapply those throughout the day. Uh, A, because it's a lot to keep up with and B because I um, uh, it's a lot to take around and see they're a little on the pricier side and I like to like to make them last but uh, yeah that's what I do and my tinted sunscreens have something called iron oxides in them so they give me a little bit of added protection from visible light that can contribute to hyperpigmentation namely in the wavelengths of of blue light so yeah that is that is my sun protection and then I also also rely on UV protective clothing to by and large keep my body protected but also I wear a hat when I go outside and uh, I just got a face shield last weekend so I need to start incorporating that because for those of you out there who wear makeup and are always asking me how do you reapply makeup how do you how do you deal with putting sunscreen on with a full face of makeup I'm like Ooh, that kind of complicates sun protection, to be honest, um, because you're not going to want to put sunscreen on over all your foundation, and you're not going to want to wash your face all day, so... And you shouldn't wash your face multiple times a day, but I'm kind of rambling on and on about sun protection because it's important. So if you are if you are somebody who wears a full face of makeup, uh, definitely get a broad brimmed sun protective hat, um, large sunglasses, and I wear a face shield honestly when you go in and out uh, from your car. If you particularly if you are doing if you are on a if you are on really just do it <laughs> for the health of your skin um you know even when it's cloudy out even when you are largely indoors the sun that comes in through the windows even when it's cloudy out is uva and that's those are the rays that actually aid your skin um and also contribute to skin cancer the rays that you that hit you in when you go outside those are also uvb and that's what that's what causes mutations by and large in the skin that lead to skin cancers um, but yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be militant and really, really on top of it with the sun protection. Otherwise all the other stuff just is a complete waste of money. <laughs> you know, you might as well just put it, put it into your, your long-term savings so you retire earlier. Um, you know, it's kind of futile. Um, so yeah. And if you're ever curious, like what it is that I'm using in the morning, I list everything in the description box for you guys below. And I also have a whole skincare routine. So you can go and check that out. But yeah, just here as judging with my coffee. But speaking of UPF protective clothing, I'm wearing my my Fabletics. These are these mesh leggings. I don't know if you guys can see them. They they have these little me this little mesh side paneling. I'm kind of holding the camera awkwardly. But they've got a little they've got a little sneaky sneaky pocket here, which is handy for your for your cellular. <laughs> Uh, but guys, I mentioned to you all, I started, uh, I got into, I've gotten into this rose nectar, basically, it's basically like rose water from Bulgarian roses. It's a little, um, it's slightly different though from rose water in that it also has 
uh, rose oil. It doesn't have any calories in it or any sugar. It's just rose, rose extract and pure rose oil. Wonderful flavor. I was inspired to start consuming this by, uh, by and large, by Turkish Delight and and the movie uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But this also has a lot of is a rich source of polyphenols and antioxidants, and you guys know me and my functional beverages. But I put some of it in, um, I like to put a teaspoon of it in water. It doesn't taste like perfume, by the way, if you're wondering. But I put some of it in my Four Sigmatics Hot Cacao Mix last night. Oh my goodness. Who knew, uh, you know, that the combination of chocolate and rose, so delicious. My new favorite nighttime dessert. A teaspoon of this into my Four Sigi Hot Cacao with Rishi. Oh, so delicious. So, so, so delicious. You could also just do like, your hot cacao or hot chocolate, whatever, whatever you're, you're driving on. But, but just, this is a teaspoon is all you need. Like a serving is actually a tablespoon of this stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, your stuff is going to last longer just using a teaspoon and a teaspoon gives a nice, a nice rose flavor. I think a tablespoon would be kind of intense in your hot chocolate. So yeah, I have been really loving this stuff. Um, <laughs> pure rose. Oh, but speaking of antioxidants and anti-aging, did you guys know that we have a new vehicle now for tretinoin? It's now in a lotion form, Altrino. Uh, it's FDA approved for uh, kids nine years of age and older with acne. Uh, this is for acne, but uh, you know it's the same drug. So you guys are like, I wonder if it would work for anti-aging. Well, tretinoin, you know, it, it it doesn't necessarily matter the vehicle as far as the outcome. I mean, I suppose it. Hood, but uh, yeah, it probably works for that, but um, you might have a harder time acquiring it for that. But by and large, the uh, suffice it to say, the Tretinoin lotion, the newer vehicle, um, seems to be easier for kids to, to hack, for young teenagers, adolescents seem to, seem to comply with it better, which is always good. Compliance with prescriptions is a real problem. It appears to be slightly less irritating Still has the peeling and dryness associated with it, but easier, this is easier to hack. We also have, the FDA also approved a topical, um, it's called a topical anticholinergic that you can apply under your armpits for hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating. So that is, that's a new little medical update. Little boy, you waking up from a nap? You waking up from a nap? Oh, I missed you little friend, I missed you. You're like a little lamb. He looks like a little lambykin. <laughs> He's resting up before he before he gets his hyper his hyper energy burst. <laughs> My mom said he was up early this morning, rearing to go. Now he's taking a little nap. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. I'm <laughs> just so sweet. I love you, Tybee. I love you. Well, hey guys, what's up? I'm over here at my mom's. I just uh, got over here and was doing some work on the computer. Uh, she and I actually, bright light. She and I actually kind of swapped places this morning. She, um, I don't know if you'll recall, she said one of her Christmas presents to me was going to be to um, take down my Christmas decorations, my tree, my ornaments, package everything up very nicely, um, which I'm very, very, very appreciative of her help with that because that is a that is a pain in the pain in the neck. So she is over at my apartment doing that, and I am here to be out of her way, <laughs> and I'm um, just hanging out with Ty B and getting some work done. Um, and so I think I'm actually I haven't eaten yet. I'm gonna make myself a little brunch. I'm gonna make my cauliflower oats. Before I do that, though, I mentioned that um, there is a new there's a new Tretinoin vehicle, meaning it's in a lotion vehicle instead of a cream or gel, which you may be using. And the new uh, tretinoin lotion is approved for acne in people ages 9 and up. Um, we don't have any comparative studies between the lotion and the cream and the gel to say like which one is better, but it's the same drug. It's 0.05% tretinoin, uh, so it's the same drug, 0.05% uh, tretinoin in any other vehicle. Um, and one would, one would assume that the, the outcomes, the, the outcomes are the same, but we don't know. 
Um, and, but it appears to, to be very good for acne and very well easy to tolerate. It differs from the traditional cream and gel vehicles in that it contains collagen. So uh, the collagen is derived from fish and therefore if you are allergic to fish, you, want to, you, you wouldn't be able to use it, but there's a little difference. As far as why they come out with all of these things, you know, I mentioned that compliance with tretinoin can be a real problem with, with getting people to use it for acne and getting them to tolerate it because the irritation, it can be very irritating. And so they're always trying to come up with new vehicles, new formulations that are gentler, that are easier to tolerate, that kind of combat some of the dryness and peeling in, in what's called the retinization time period of the, of the top dead layer of your skin, all that peeling and irritation and stinging. They're always trying to come up with sophisticated differences. Um, to, to make it easier. Retin-A Micro is another such example. Uh, but yeah, um, that's just a little little update on, on that. I thought I would, some, I think one or two of you have commented and asked me about it, so I figured I would mention it in today's vlog. But anyways, I'm gonna make myself some cauliflower oats, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are not familiar with my cauliflower oats, I call them cauliflower oats because they do in fact have oatmeal in them. They're not just cauliflower like some people do, in which case, I don't know. To me, that's cauliflower. Um, but yes, uh, I have two recipes for this in a playlist entitled Recipes and Lifestyle or something like that. But uh, today I'm just gonna do it on the stove. But I'm gonna be using the rest of these Ocean Spray fresh cranberries my mom has here. They're frozen, but I'll just cook them on the stove. And she has some of the organic rice cauliflower from Costco. I got some of this this week in my grocery home. Um, and I, I use it uh, sometimes in the cauliflower oats, so I'll show you that. And then the cinnamon from, from Costco. Just, uh, I add like a quarter of a cup of rolled oats. And then I, um, I add protein powder sometimes just for taste uh, and for just a little extra and I've been enjoying this I've had this before. I, I get it on iHerb and I got some for my mom. She really likes it. It is the Muscle Farm Organic Protein Plant Based. Uh, two scoops has, let's see, 20 grams of protein. So I'm just going to do a scoop. There we go. And then I'll do that. There. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make it here on the stove. I have the um, burner set to medium heat, and I'm going to put in the frozen cranberries into this little pot. going to do a little almond milk in there so I have a little bit of liquid. It's like roughly, I don't know, two tablespoons I just put in there so that it's not, just so that it's not without any liquid. Uh-oh. All right, so don't do that. <laughs> The, uh, I was uh, trying to break up the cauliflower here and the, and the bag broke and <laughs> sprinkled a little confetti dusting of rice frozen cauliflower all over the floor. So I get to pick that up, yay! All right, now that I rectified my error and tidied up my mess, I have here the frozen cranberry, the frozen cauliflower rice, and the cinnamon, and about half a cup of non-dairy milk. I'm just gonna let that thaw here on medium heat. Fortunately, we have the canine Roomba over there, although I'm surprised he didn't pop over here to, uh, to uh, gobble up the cauliflower. He enjoys, he enjoys veggie fallout. Fun story, prior to being vegan, I used to consume a lot of those um, uh, liquid egg, egg whites. Uh, I used to buy them at Costco. And one morning I grabbed the carton of liquid egg whites out of the refrigerator and hit my hand on something and dropped it and spilled an entire like large carton of raw, of the, um, of the um, liquid egg whites all over the floor. And that was a time in my life where I had just made the switch over to, I was reducing the number of paper towels that I was purchasing at the time. I now, now I no longer buy paper towels, by the way. Aren't you guys proud of me? 
Uh, but at that time, I was in I was in the transition and was reducing the number of paper towels I was buying, and I had like I had like a little bit left on the roll, and uh, just enough to get me through picking that up. And I yeah, it was not it was not fun to to have to pick up all of those all of those liquid egg whites. <laughs> Perk of going vegan, don't have that kind of mess to deal with. I'm trying to think of what would be a vegan, a vegan mess uh, akin to akin to liquid egg whites. I don't know, chia pudding, yes. Chia pudding would be a mess to pick up because that would, those little seeds would be hard to pick up and then it would form a film that would be really, really tough to pick, to, to clean off. Ooh, that would be stubborn. That would be a stubborn mess. All right, so you can see that's all falling down and it's a little bubbly. And so now I'm just gonna add some of this. This is the other in ingredient I like to add, this unsweetened shredded coconut reduced fat. It's just desiccated coconut and somehow the desiccation process renders out some of the fat. Um, and I, I don't really care about the fat content. I just like this stuff because it's kind of like, I'm trying to open the bag one-handed, kind of like shredded wheat almost. It just gives a little bit of chew to smoothies and stuff. So I just add like, I don't know, a tablespoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter of a cup of rolled oats here. And give it a swizzle. And I will reduce the heat to a little bit lower so that we're not too bubbly. And that'll cook. And then I'll add the protein powder. I'm making some tea here. My mom has this, Kosa, uh, she got a Kosari tea kettle. She loves it. I love it too. I like using it. I also got one for Christmas, but, but I haven't started using it yet. Um, so yeah, they're, they're convenient. I'm just making some tea here. This is the Celestial Seasonings Cranberry Vanilla Spice Tea. Two bags. I'm going to let that steep for six minutes. Doing a lot of things here. All right, so that has been cooking for, I don't know, approximately four minutes, five minutes, not very long. And I'm just gonna add one scoop of the vanilla protein powder and mix it in. Kind of comes out like, I don't know, risotto, cranberry risotto. This particular vanilla protein powder has stevia in it, so you don't need to sweeten the cauliflower oats. But if you if you are making this without that protein powder or plain protein powder, you would want to add some kind of sweetener. Or not, you know, you could do this savory too. I've done that. Um, and you could add like curry powder to it and make it like, um, you know, Indian curry be very tasty. It's a versatile, versatile base. People ask me why I add cauliflower to it. It just gives it a lot more volume. I mean, oatmeal, oatmeal by itself just seems so paltry in comparison. <laughs> um, once you start eating it this way, you're like, what? That's it? Although Irish, Irish steel cut oats are very, very hearty and good. I, I like those. Man, you guys know I'm all about my toppings. I just have some slivered almonds here. Let's put a few on. <laughs> a little bit more cinnamon. And a little bit more of this. Makes it look, makes it look pretty. Then I also like to put on the PB2 powder. <laughs> Ta da! Tasty delicious. <laughs> Tybee supper time! 
He is looking for his supper. I gotta give it to him. Little boy. Little boy. We just went out on a walk and so he is, uh, he's feisty. It is evening time. I'm going to feed Tybee and go to the gym. But um, while I think of it, let me, let me show you guys. These, um, you'll recall from my, uh, what was it when I showed you guys what I got my mom for Christmas when I wrapped Christmas presents? I got her these uh, vegan, they're toasted, this one's toasted coconut chewy toffee, and then this one is toasted coconut hard toffee. They're like vegan Werther's by Charm, Chimes, not Charms, Chimes. They are really good. They are really good. The um, chewy one is firm, but has sort of a chewy center to it. And the hard one is is like a Werther's original, which I have to say I am a fan of Werther's original. I always enjoyed having those. Um, they're good to have in your mouth when you go on a run. I like to have a hard candy sometimes when I go on a long run. It's a little slow release glucose, but yeah, um, they're really good. Those are really good. And then oh, the other thing that I need to update you guys on snack wise is these. Nutsos, remember I got these in a Kroger in the clearance bin at Kroger. I got this flavor basil and sun-dried tomato. They're only 99 cents. Basil and sun-dried tomato almonds, and then I got those sea salted caramel cashews. I brought them over here, and my mom and I both had the sea salt caramel cashews, which were vegan, by the way. It's really hard to find vegan caramel stuff. They were really good, and these are likewise excellent. I highly recommend them. I had never heard of this brand before, Nutso. They were just in the clearance bin, and I had never seen them out in the store before. Here. Yeah, I had not seen them in the store before. This is the tomato basil one. They're really good, really tasty. Tybee's jealous. He's hungry. Time for his, Time for his dinner, but anyways, guys, I am going to hit the gym, so I'm going to close the vlog here. My mom is still still playing uh, Santa's workshop and putting away all my Christmas decor. So she, she is, is a busy elf, but I hope you guys enjoyed my solo vlog with Ty B today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.